Okay guys, so welcome back to a shorter Pokemon Go today, and in this video we're just going to be going over all the updates that were applied to Pokemon Go yesterday. So everything got updated, and the App Store and Google Play Store now have the new current version of Pokemon Go. And with this update, so much stuff has changed that a lot of people are considering not even playing the game anymore because it's not as fun as it used to be and apparently it even caused some people to lose their progress which I think got resolved but some people may still not have uh, all their progress saved and had to start over but the three step glitch is gone so that makes sense so if you remember all your Pokemon were three steps away so the steps really didn't matter but previously when the game just came out you could actually see which steps how far away they were and if the ones had like one or zero steps then they were right next to you and you could easily get them and I remember doing that it was fun I enjoyed doing that I enjoyed walking around my neighborhood and seeing how many steps away the Pokemon were that was actually fun and then we get this three step glitch which stayed for weeks it felt like and now they just removed it completely so I don't know I don't know what happened, they should probably just implement the regular one back if they could, because it seemed to work, but I don't know, this is what we have so far, no steps, so a lot of people were upset about that, I kind of am. The consequence of them removing this nearby tracking is that it removes tracking for any kind of website that was using this nearby tracking in order to find out where Pokemon were. Basically it was a huge database that uh, scanned for these kind of Pokemon and was able to show it to you on like a Google Maps kind of platform and you could see where exactly a Pokemon was if it was nearby you. And this was really cool. I only used it a few times because I just kind of learned about it and then of course they go ahead and remove it. But if you do have a Pokemon that you see near nearby, you can pull it up on this website like Pokevision, which was seems like one of the biggest ones. And you can figure out exactly where the Pokemon is so you're not running around in circles trying to figure out where this Pokemon was. I mean, it was kind of fun in the beginning to be like, okay, uh, well, when the tracking was working, you could see if it was three or two steps away or whatever. But now it's completely out of the game. No Pokemon tracking at all. You have to run around if you're going to try to find any of these nearby Pokemon. So another thing that they changed is they updated some text. I mean, okay, whatever. Like, I don't know why they needed to update, make the text more bold on this screen and make the eggs... <laughs> the egg text a little uh, more bold as well. So they changed that a little bit and then uh, they also changed some animations and uh, like the pokeball It'll say it broke free or something like that So the other big thing that they changed which I don't know why they did this This didn't seem like a reason to but they changed where the transfer button is So let's say I want to transfer this Venom app um, Now you have to click this and then hit transfer and then hit yes So I mean I was I could understand why like you don't want to you know scroll all the way down but What if they just put transfer like somewhere up here so you could just click it and not have to like how many clicks does it take to transfer now? It used to take one and then two. This one, you have to click the Pokemon and then it takes one, two, and then three in order to actually transfer the Pokemon. So it takes more clicks to actually get there, but is it really a, a time saver? I don't know because why would it? There should just be a button on the side here that just says transfer. Like this button should automatically bring up the transfer screen. Like why do you need to bring up favorite? In order to favor the Pokemon you can just click the star up here there's no reason for favorite to be right there so they changed that a little bit I don't know why but I don't really know if it's gonna be easier to transfer Pokemon the best way to transfer Pokemon would be to select a certain group of Pokemon or just click a transfer button and then click every single Pokemon in your entire bag and choose which ones you want to transfer all at once and then get all the candy for it so uh, people thought that you couldn't transfer Pokemon anymore but you actually can it's just hidden away in a different little menu. You have to hit that and then you're able to actually transfer it. So you can still transfer Pokemon. And if they took that out, I don't know what I would do. Like, you wouldn't have any way. What if the only way to get rid of Pokemon was to, you know, just delete them? I mean, you might as well give us at least one candy for uh, transferring Pokemon. So they changed that. I don't know. If I'm not really too happy with it. Obviously, I'd rather there be a mass transfer option. But uh, for now, that's all we get. I guess I'll try to catch this Weedle just so you guys can see the new... Uh, animations so if it breaks free wow that was that was great if it uh breaks free it has a new thing but i don't know if this wheel is going to break free but they kind of cleaned it up they even changed the look of the pokeball i don't really know why they need to do that but the pokeball has changed and there we go got a wheel that's that's great so i don't know those are the changes they uh nerfed vaporeon go watch my other pokemon go and you can see me battling with the new uh nerfed well it's not really new but just the nerf vaporeon they nerfed his uh main attack and then uh i think it kind of buffed the other one as well so you guys can go check that out i'll leave a link in the description to my other one and uh let me know what you guys think of 
these changes. I really didn't like the whole nearby thing, how it's been recently anyway. And now that they've completely removed it and they made transferring a little more difficult, I don't know what's going on with Pokemon Go right now. So let me know what you guys think. If you're happy with it, if you're not happy with it, uh, what do you think could change? Because I personally have a whole list of things that Pokemon Go could do better. So the new update is now available in the iOS and Google Play Store to go and uh, update the game. So, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't really seem like it's an update. It just seems like they changed a lot of things and made some things worse. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Pokemon Go, and I'll see you all next time.